Hey everybody, this is just a little video I wanted to put out uh, announcing the alpha release of my damage update mod. Uh, if you're new here, I've been making a devlog series about a damage update mod for Minecraft 1.20.1 that I've been working on, and now I've done an initial release of alpha version. It's released on Modrinth and CurseForge. The files are under review as I'm recording this, so I'm not sure when that'll be done, maybe in a day or two, I think it said the estimated time was, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, for this alpha version, the things I really need help testing are, things I really need help testing are the balance of the uh, auto generation uh, algorithms. So if you know, if you've been following the devlog series, you know that a lot of the stats for items and things are automatically generated um, using algorithms and I just need help tweaking those algorithms, the numbers a bit, so that they match um, the stats that mobs have been given, because the mobs you have to do manually, because there's no real way that I can think of to auto-generate those. Um, so yeah, just tweaking the numbers on those, so if feedback on that would be awesome. And the other thing would be just finding incompatibilities with other mods. Uh, already in my, I've done a little bit of testing, and I've found that Botania is um, incompatible right now because of a mix-in uh, incompatibility issue. Uh, I'll work to fix that eventually, but I'm a bit busy right now. Um, yeah, so I'll just go show you an initial test. So I've just made a test pack here on Forge 1.20.1, but I think it should work for NeoForge as well. Um, yeah, this is just a little pack of like 30 mods or something, and I've just added my jar file in here. So I'll just boot up the game and I'll show you how you can use the mod. Alright, so we're in game here, and I'm just gonna make a new world. Right, so when you get in here, the first thing you can do is use the generation commands to get, um, first of all, a list of every weapon and armor item you should be um, creating stats for, but also auto generate stats and use the algorithm to do a lot of the work for you. So let's start off here by doing weapons and I'll just type all so we can uh, generate stats for weapons in all uh, mods that are currently loaded. I'll do that. So you can see it'll just run through all the uh, mods here and like, for example, stuff like this and any model features, uh, random library mods, like it's not going to come up with anything. But for Minecraft, um, I'm not sure what would be there. Uh, iron spellbooks, stuff like that, ice and fire, those are all going to have uh, files and then you can check in your config folder in the generated part of the SCADA weapon uh, file structure and that'll be where those files are and I'll also just you can also just do that for the other things too so like generate let's do some mobs so it'll do the same thing for mobs as well right so minecraft I there should be I've included default configs for mobs weapons and armor for default minecraft so you don't need to or you can change them if you want obviously but you don't need to but for other things like ice and fire or like any other mods you're going to need to do that uh, on your own uh, maybe in the future we could include uh, more default configs for other mods as we keep going but for now you're going to do that by yourself and then the last thing would, to do would be armor and yeah, so once you have run these commands, you can edit them in your config folder. And then to actually get them to be in the game, you need to make a data pack uh, and have that in your data packs folder of the world. And the file structure you need to use, I'll show you real quick in my IntelliJ here. So the file structure you need for the data pack looks something like this. So, Users is data, and then Scott is the namespace of this mod, obviously. But for a data pack, I don't think it matters. I'm not super good with the data packs. But yeah, essentially, you just put them in these three folders here weapon info, mob info, armor info. So, for example, you might have another a thing here. So, these are the, if I click on this, these are the stats for the weapons that are in default Minecraft. But let's say you added uh, ice and fire, for example, you'd probably have a file here called ice and fire uh, JSON. And then this would have a bunch of entries in it for the weapons in ice and fire. And the uh, JSON file here is just this would be the mod ID 
of whatever mod it is and then in here would be the uh, item name i will definitely get around to or the next thing i'm going to do is make an actual wiki so i can give an actual explanation of how to do all this instead of my rambling which i'm sure nobody understood but um yeah go ahead and test it out if you want uh keep in mind it is an alpha so there's going to be lots of bugs incompatibilities oversights etc um but yeah i hope you have a good time testing it out and have a good one everybody